proceed okay okay sir. okay okay sir dr pradeep chandra pal sir you can start your um, webinar sir yeah sir, thank you uh, sir sir uh, uh, sir good morning sir very uh, good this morning. is money there uh, okay. good morning sir uh, i have uh, uh, thank you sir for accepting our proposal uh, and uh, for giving this uh, valuable webinar and uh, which will be helpful our students okay and uh, i thanks uh, mr naresh for initiating uh, this webinar uh, please uh, uh, students please uh, uh, make use of this webinar and uh, which will be helpful for your projects and uh, uh, i'm very glad to introduce uh, dr vipin chandra pal uh, uh, to um, he is a assistant professor from uh, nit uh, sirchar assam so please uh, uh, take his uh, suggestions if you have any doubts related to the uh, today's topic that is uh, innovations in uh, uh, time delay systems and the applications okay which will be very uh, useful for you and uh, as a final year students and uh, uh, some of the students are in free to write so you are going to start the project okay and uh, whatever the content uh, uh, today uh, dr vipin chandrapal sir is going to deliver uh, that may be helpful for your uh, projects also okay sir so thank you sir again once again please uh, i'm uh, I, I, uh, please i'm hand over to you i uh, can carry on with the session sir. thank you okay okay thank you sir a uh, very good morning to you and all of you and first of all i thanks to uh, narrator and you also for giving me a chance to give a uh, lecture in this uh, webinar so i am very thankful to all of you uh, and uh, without wasting my time just uh, i am sharing my uh, ppt and i will yeah my screen is visible to all of you no sir it is not shared actually it is shared oh. present now yeah i have uh, done is it just now actually already i have shared no sir we cannot see that okay just a moment okay uh, please give me a permission to share my screen okay because it is showing cannot share your screen you must grant permission in order to screen share so it is already given sir actually just now jagar jagar one second check ha uh, sir jagar one second check i think just now you can see my screen ah uh, yes sir now, oh, now yes. yes sir now you are presenting okay 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 thank you okay sir yes sir so good morning students so today we will discuss about the time delay system so and also we will discuss its application as as well as its recent uh, areas application where people are doing research in terms to mitigate the effect of the time delay so uh, the presentation outline regarding this uh, webinar are following uh, we will start with the introduction then uh, we will go towards the mathematical modeling of this after that we will uh, discuss about the stabilization of the control systems in presence of Uh, time delay okay and what are the different methods and also we will see uh, examples uh, which i have uh, introduced here as a problem in which you can see uh, we have uh, considered the case of the one time delay system and there we have stabilized that uh, system and after that uh, we will investigate different engineering systems in which time delays are occurring and people are doing research in that areas so first of all uh, if i am introducing that delay then everyone uh, known about this term the delay so delay is what uh, basically for just time considering an example if uh, you and your friend have uh, started a plan okay plan to go uh, outside and you have decided to meet one point 
uh, then uh, you have reached on that point at proper time okay and you are waiting for your friends it's usually occurs so what happens the time when you starts waiting okay and the time when your friend reach that time is called as a delay then you told your friend you, you are delay for 5 minutes or you are delay for 10 minutes or you are too much delay so it is in practical situations where delay can be seen so similarly in the systems uh, control systems or any physical systems industrial process control and uh, all the operations of the industrial uh, plants there are also certain delays so what happens uh, that delay can make the deteriorate performance that means the quality products which we are uh, which the companies are producing due to the delay in machines so what happens the quality that you desire that will not get okay so what happens due to that they uh, the research in uh, delay is starting that means this delay must not be there and one of the most prominent example is in uh, data communication network as we are talking about your phones so what happens data packets are sent okay from one place to another place but what happens you feel sometimes uh, uh, your uh, friend's voice is breaking that means it is a literally stop just pause of one two second or three second after that it will start okay sometime what happens the voice is uh, not coming for long time then your connection has cut down okay so just observe that the time of the pause for one second two second up to that you start the con uh, conversation then what it means it means there is just some delay in the system but what happens that delay has been mitigated in that sense that you are again starting your operation that means you are again starting the conversation your friend without cutting the connection so when connection will be cut down then what happens your system will is not stable at that time but now when the connection reached that means you both are uh, started communicating then it may uh, say that uh, this is the stable system so what happens similarly this thing happens in industrial process controls as what happens for example uh, if you have all of you have visited in uh, uh, some uh, companies or plants so what happens the main control unit or scada or plc units that is very much far from the real plants okay so what happens if you are sending a signal from uh, dcs or scada unit to real uh, actuator or valve unit so what happens it take time that means signal will travel from uh, dc unit uh, dc uh, plc or scada units to real time plants nearby of the valves so what happens it will travel from one place to another place so it take certain time to reach there so that is also a time delay so such type of uh, delays can be seen in real time plants and real time uh, situations so here we will see uh, or consider the cases of the time delay in the systems and how we can analyze that delay in uh, in any mathematical point of view and what are their modelings okay so uh, as you uh, the time delay system can be also called as a dead time dead why it is called dead time as you have uh, heard about the characteristic dead that uh, dead zone so what it means it means the system is not responding up to that time even though all the inputs has been delivered to the control uh, plant okay but it is not giving any output that is the dead time so what uh, and also it is called as a hereditary systems and uh, the equations that uh, from that we can represent the time delayed system in the terms of the continuous time and state space representation that can be seen from the equation 1.11 okay so here you can see that uh, this is the change of state x dot t equals to axt plus ad xt minus h so here a is a system matrix ad is a 
टाइम डिले मैट्रिक ओके दीज आर दॉन्स्टेंट एक्स इज अ स्टेट सो हेयर वी आर कंसिडरिंग द डिले इन टर्म्स ऑफ स्टेट ओके एंड द डिले ऑफ द क्वान्टिटी ऑफ द डिले इज एच ओके एंड हेयर द कंस्टेंट ऑन डिले इज दैट इट विल बी ऑलवेज पॉजिटिव बिकॉज इट विल बी वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सेकेंड सेवन सेकेंड टेन सेकेंड ओके एंड after that we will further see uh, what are different types and what are the classification of these delay in engineering systems and as we see that it can be found in uh, many processes so that examples are communication network chemical process control aircrafts and many more so one of uh, other example you can see uh, in this uh, slide uh, what the person he is going to for showering so he want to mix the cold and hot water in a box okay and in a uh, in box when they will mix up after that it will reach into showering action okay so you can see that the time at which uh, mixing is start that is tt and the time at which uh, this person is receiving showering that is delayed by the h units or second or minutes whatever it is okay so this modeling has been represented by the equation 1.12 so as we have uh, already discussed that the in control system it will delays are occurring due to uh, time it takes to acquire the correct information needed for decision making for example in uh, very large uh, systems uh, if we are uh, considering the missile control system or other system so what happens there are different states many uh, more than 100 states so before uh, operation uh, the system checks every states okay so it take time okay next is uh, creating control decisions and implementing the decisions as in terms of the computation for example if computation is very large so what happens it takes certain time to computing to making the accurate result for some time as you have also seen in terms of the matlab if you have operating and you have given a uh, very uh, lengthy pro algorithm so what happens it takes certain time to execute so uh, this is the pictorial uh, block diagram representation in which you can see uh, where the delay can be occurred okay so here uh, the reference is set point okay so we have uh, given the set point where for example if i am considering the case of the uh, uh, just flow rate control so we will uh, give the set unit for example if uh, i want to uh, give we have given the value of the 5 then what happens controller will take uh, action according to that maintaining that that flow rate okay so what happens when controller is computing that means whatever the set put point has been given and what is the initial value of that uh, valve of the flow rate of in the plant so it will compare or it will execute the result according to the error received at its input so it takes certain time so that's why here it is represented as a input delay because controller signals will give to the plant it will act as a input okay so here input has been uh, the signal which have been given from the controller to plant so here it reaches but it may be certain delay due to due to taking the control decision variables okay so it will be in a feedback so what happens in the feedback we will apply some uh, instruments for example in real situation we will use venturometer rotometer okay to sense the actual flow rate okay after that uh, in that case there may be a chance of measurement delay okay because at the instant when uh, you will uh, you have installed the rotometer it will not give at instant reading okay it will certain take fraction of time 
to settle or to give the accurate flow rate, whatever it is. So that's why it is represented as a measurement delay in the feedback. And again, uh, if you have installed an observer, so observer will, why we are installing observer? Because uh, in uh, plants, what happens? Every state is not available for the measurement, okay? So we will, uh, if we have to measure all the states, then we will introduce an observer, okay? So after that, the signal feedback signal or feedback information has been given to the, uh, again, for the controller to make the proper control action, what the actual output is here. So in this way, it will act. But you can see the delay, most chances of the delay is here, uh, input delay, measurement delay. So, and the causes of the delays are, you know, very well. So the delay that has been considered here as a, in terms of a state delay that I have represented in terms of mathematical, as well as there may be a chance of the input delay also. So uh, these are the uh, as usual causes and as usual time delivery system in which delays occur. Delays is also occur in biological system. In terms of biological system, for example, uh, if uh, in your home, uh, your father, uh, father and mother uh, or father have given any items to you, give, give, give it to you, and told that uh, please put this item uh, very properly and safely and uh, next day or after some days when he will uh, in need of that item so what happens he will call you and uh, just say give that item whichever i have given to you 15 or 20 days prior then what happens once a time you have to rethink okay where i have given where i have put that uh, item where i have put that you will take fraction of time or sometimes Okay, then you will uh, go to that place and uh, take that item and give it to hand over to your father. So in this sense, you can see that in biological system, there is also a delay. Okay. Yeah. So there is a uh, classification of delay. So here you can see uh, in uh, the equation 1.14, here you can see this is the equation uh, in which the delay is represented in terms of the discrete system. Previously, we have represent the delay in continuous system. So here you can see this is the continuous system, x dot p, and here we have represented a delay in discrete system okay so here you can see uh, this is the delayed matrix ad this is the input uk okay so delay is represented by the, the by inclusion of the delayed matrix ad and uh, that d okay so first classification is constant or time varying delay okay so what happens here d represents the delay if it is constant value, for example, in a system, it is uh, two second delays there. Okay. So you can say that there is a constant delay. Okay. And if in that system, the delay is sometimes 0.5 second, sometimes it is one second, sometimes it is two second, then you can say, and up to two second, then you can say this is the time varying delay. So here in equation 1.14b, you can uh, see that the delay is uh, dk it is a time varying because it is time varying so what happens it will depend on the variable k or t in uh, in the case of the discrete system it will be dk in case of the continuous system it will dt okay so here it has it has been given as a minimum and maximum limit because what happens if in a system there will be too much delay then it will be not feasible okay so that's why there must be a minimum or maximum limit here so these are the uh, lower and upper bound delay these are called as a lower bound delay this is called as a upper bound delay so here dl is lower bound dh is upper bound on delay that means this these are the minimum and maximum limit on the delay huh, now next one is state delay 
or input delay so if the delay is considered in a state as in the in this equation 1.14 in both cases dk or d term has been appeared in x states okay not input u so that's why it is uh, differentiated on these uh, basis if the delay is occurring in uh, state x k or x t then it will be uh, state delay and if it is appearing in the input u k so it will be called as an input delay okay ah. after that after that there is a discrete delay next uh, classification so in the case of the discrete delay what is happening uh, there is a continuous point wise delay that means these values are the discrete for example it will be starting from 1 second 2 second 3 second 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so these are the example of the discrete delay after that there is a single and multiple delay single delay means that is only once a time in a delay that is one value and if it is uh, many times then it will, be, it will be multiple delay and in the case of the commensurate and non commensurate delay what happens there uh, may be a common factor of uh, k here you can see for example if common factor is 2 so once a time it is delay is 1 then 2 then 4 then 6 then 8 this type if this type of combination is there then it will be called as a commensurate otherwise non commensurate and after that there will be distributed delay so what happens in the case of the distributed delay it will be delays in whole interval as k minus d so this is the uh, about the classification of the delay now we are coming towards the brief history of the time delay system so initially if we will observe that uh, that uh, delay uh, is starting the study about the delay is starting from the 18th century so if you have observed uh, the heating process so what happens in the case of the heating process uh, if we you are heating some uh, equipment or some uh, pot so it takes certain time so what happens similarly Bernoulli and Eilers, they are uh, working in the field of the chemical engineering process. So what happens? They feel that uh, in heating of the uh, different chemicals or uh, for reactions, it takes certain time. So they have started the delay uh, study of the delay. And after that, uh, this delay has been uh, studied by uh, many Mishkas and Bellman in 1940. And after that, uh, there is a tremendous uh, study and uh, very most prominent uh, methods has been given in 1956 so these uh, has been given by uh, Razumikhin and Trotsky okay so what they have done they have just uh, extended the Lyapunov stability criteria for studies or for stabilization of the time related system so uh, in terms of stability they have done a very good contribution in the field of the time delay system and after that uh, 1995 the robust control system has been coming into picture so there uh, they have studied about the delay also what happens in the case of the if you will uh, classify the control system then uh, you may classify it into uh, three parts first one is classical approach uh, classical feedback system next one is uh, state space uh, control system and after that robust nowadays robust control system so in that uh, systems the delay studies is also started in from after 1995 and after that 2000 the delayed studies has been very much uh, groomed up uh, nowadays uh, in practical system for example in air traffic control in us there is a most uh, common problem in delay in traffic control that means air traffic control so they are also modeling the different aircraft uh, and also to mitigate the delays for the different flights which are occurring commonly So in 1957, uh, Smith predictor 
and uh, you have also heard about the smith predictors so what happens in that case uh, it, he has given a uh, scheme in which what he has done uh, in the block diagram you can see uh, this is gz is a plant okay and uh, z to the power minus k is a delay in that plant okay so what happens uh, they have uh, smith has jj smith has also uh, given a scheme to how we can uh, design a controller that will mitigate the effect of delay so uh, in this case he has give, uh, firstly he has designed a controller cz without considering the time delay z to power minus k so he has designed a uh, controller uh, for the gz plant that will give the desired performance and after that he, they, he has considered a plant c bar z to for the plant which has the multiplication of the delay in the transfer function so uh, so in this case what happens they have compared with the new controller that means c bar z with the control action cz in terms of the transfer function okay but it is not uh, very much reliable for long uh, long delay that means the when the delay uh, magnitude is large on the basis of the uh, information considering in the delay in terms of the stability criteria so what happens it has been uh, divided into two parts that is very much common in terms of the uh, study of stabilization of time delay system so these are called as a delay dependent and delay independent so what happens in the case of the delay dependent uh, method for the stabilization so in this case the information of about the delay is considering in the system while in the case of the delay independent the delay information is not considering in the stability conditions okay so for the delay dependent as i have seen in terms of the evolution of the brief history of time delay so in which case lnn krasovsky he has uh, given a criteria in which lyapunov stability uh, theorem has been extended to considering the effect of the delay dependent okay so in that case he has uh, added the information about delay so and uh, after independent delay independent in that case rajumukin has done a great work so in my case i have uh, done uh, the work in terms of the delay dependent stability criteria so i will show you uh, in uh, problem further that how the delay information is considering in the case of the uh, lyapunov krasovsky functions okay so this is the uh, mathematical representation of the uh, 1d 1d means one dimensional time delay system so here as you know xk plus 1 and this is the discrete time delay system okay so here and uh, the first equation that shows the uh, change of states and the second equation that shows the output equation and this is the initial condition okay xk equals to 5k where what are the initial conditions okay initial conditions has very much uh, bigger role in terms of the stability of the control system or internal stability of the system okay we will further discuss uh, what are the different aspect of the stability and uh, how we will consider in the control system okay so in this case in equation uh, one the delay you can see delay is a d that means constant delay if d d is replaced by dk then it will be called as a time varying delay and if there is time varying delay so what happens it will be a some lower and upper delay so in the previous case it has been represented as, as a dl and dh now it is represented as a d1 and d2 so that means the time varying delay will, will start from d1 to d2 now we are coming to the uh, point of the stability okay so in terms of the stability of the system uh, uh, there is a two 
uh, method that means two way uh, to find the stability of the control system uh, for example uh, that that are uh, one is called as a internal stability and another is called as a external stability so as uh, i uh, i assume that all of you are aware of the external stability conditions so or external stability is also called as a bibo stability criteria okay so i think all of you are aware of uh, about bibo yes or no yeah anyone yeah okay 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 no issue uh, i i think all of you know but uh, you are not uh, responding at that time okay no issue we will revise it uh, just uh, firstly we will uh, discuss about the internal stability so from the stability point what happens uh, we will discuss about the states as well as the response okay so uh, for example if uh, we are practically discuss about the stability of ourselves if uh, in home you have got a lot of money okay so what you will do what you will do you will just spend that money that means at that uh, time when you, uh, there is a time of your study or completing the course and studying the books then if you have got a uh, lot of money from your home then uh, you in your mind there will uh, there will be many thoughts that i will go there i will shop some clothes i will shop shoes for me i will go for restaurant for good food i will go for some other things okay so when the money will be all the money has been spent then what happens you will reach to your again starting point yeah you know that uh, now i have to start my study okay i have no none of any work so this is the practical situation or initially someone has uh, very much money he has a uh, plenty of money in his home and he will got all the money without any confirmation from their parents or without any info uh, they that means he is free to spend so what he will do he will spend uh, without any purpose okay so this is the uh, case of the initial condition initially he was and i have uh, in first case i have discussed the case at once if anyone have give you a money at your home so this is the case of the external stability and the in initially this is the case of the internal stability so from the control point of view uh, now i am discussing these are the practical situation and now we are discussing the control point of view in uh, our uh, control system so in the case of the external stability condition this is called as a bibo stability criteria bibo means bounded input bounded output so what happens in this case if you are giving a input to a system and that input is bounded okay so what happens if you are getting a bounded input so that means this system is stable in terms of the bounded input bounded output stability criteria or it is externally stable okay now we are coming to next point that is called as a internal stable or it is also called as a asymptotic stable okay so what happens in this case uh, in this case uh, if uh, the states or uh, states of the system are reaching towards the zero okay for all possible initial conditions then we can say that system is internally stable that means what this uh, stability criteria is saying this stability criteria is saying if zero input response decays zero as time approaches infinity for all possible initial conditions then the system is called as a internally or asymptotically stable okay if anyone have 
any doubt regarding these uh, stability criteria, then uh, we can discuss further. Otherwise, we can uh, go. OK. Anyone have any doubt regarding this? Yes or no? Anyone can respond? No, no. sir, no doubt. No, sir. No, sir. OK. Why I am uh, discussing these two? Because uh, further in terms of the stabilization of control system, we are going preferable, preferably going towards the internally stable system. OK, internally stability or asymptotically stability system. As this is the same uh, situation that can be resembled in practically that uh, you must uh, hold a friend uh, that is always stable. OK, that means he will give your uh, partnership till the uh, very far long time. Similarly, uh, that's why we are uh, in practical control systems. We are preferably going towards the internally stable system. That means it is stable. It has a its its inherent condition, inherent property that that is the stability of the system. OK. So in this uh, case, we will deal with the uh, asymptotically or internal stability of the systems. And for this uh, internal stabilization, uh, Lyapno has given a method in which we can see how the stability criteria has been given. So we are going to uh, further on this. So this is, has been, we have discussed already. OK, so now uh, the internal stability or asymptotically stability criteria has been given by the Lyapno uh, as in terms of he has given a theorem. So how that uh, Lyapno stability criteria has been started? That means before uh, study of the Lyapno, some people have also studied. OK, so in the 16th century, uh, there was a scientist, Trosley, so uh, he has also given us some concept of that uh, Lyapno stability criteria. So that concept is called as a least total energy. So he has discussed or the, that principle of the minimum minimal total energy. As we have discussed the condition, if you are uh, got a lot of money at once, so you will uh, do uh, different activities that will not you are supposed to do. So if you have a minimum total energy, that means if you have a minimum amount of uh, money, then what you will do, you will uh, spend your money at proper pace and proper timing. OK, so that that criteria is also has been given by Drosley. If the system has a minimum at least total energy, then it, it will be more stable. OK. And uh, uh, in the case of the asymptotic stability, there is a term that is called as an equilibrium state. OK, so in control system, as uh, we have discussed in uh, practical situations, if you have got money, then what you will do, you will spend the money, go restaurant and other places. And if all the money has been spent, then you will again come to your at your home and you will start your work or study. So similarly, the point that means when you will got the money from your home and after getting money, you will go outside and after spending all the money, the, again, you will come to your home and starting starting your work as usual. So that point is called as an equilibrium state in terms of practical situation. Similarly, in the case of the control system, if the variation of the states, that means x dot t or xk plus one equals to zero. That means now states are not varying in respect of time. That state is or that point is called as an equilibrium point for the system. OK. So this uh, in the case of the linear systems, uh, linear systems means the system which holds the property of the superposition as well as the homogeneity 
okay in single system i think you must be aware of these two properties linearity and homogeneity if these two property holds by any system and then what happens that system is called as a linear system and in the case of the linear system the equilibrium point is origin origin means the position zero okay and in the case of the non linear systems uh, the uh, origin is not only a equilibrium point maybe there may be many equilibrium points now we are coming to the uh, lyapunov stability criteria okay so uh, just a moment i think this is not visible to you properly hmm so uh, according to uh, stable stable in sense of lyapunov means uh, what happens in the case of the lyapunov they have considered a region uh, that region is bounded or encircled by the delta okay whose radius is delta okay and there is a, another region that radius is epsilon okay this is the c is a outer circle epsilon so what happens if any system whose initial condition is lies within delta region okay so this is the set of initial condition from which system will start okay so if any system whose initial condition is xt0 is starting from here and after some time it is going outside of the delta circle and then again going to different situations different situations and it is bounded by another reason that that encirclement is called as a epsilon then it will be called as a this stage is called as a bounded so this is called as a stable in sense of lyapunov okay so anyone have any doubt here yes or no because that stability criteria has been used uh, further uh, study of the time related system okay so anyone have any doubt here then he or she can ask probably no doubt sir Okay. Uh, students, students, students. If you have any doubts, you can uh, if you uh, or if you uh, if it is not possible with, uh, orally, you can uh, uh, type your uh, query in the chat box. So I will uh, yeah, yeah, answer yeah, the question. Please. Yeah, please. Uh, one minute, sir. <laughs> uh, I think <laughs> there are no questions, sir. Oh. Uh, oh. Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh -huh. Sir, uh, Dr. Vipin, sir. Oh, I am not audible. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Sir, Vipin, sir. Yeah, yeah, please. Sir, uh, can you tell me what are the challenges uh, 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 nowadays uh, uh, that is uh, that the industry is facing here in the control systems? Uh, yeah. Could you tell me some of the challenges to the students so that they can uh, have an idea on that? yeah exactly uh, actually i have made a different slide for that uh, just uh, i can show them uh, only giving a brief uh, review for that uh, okay. nowadays actually everything is iot based okay so what yes. happens uh, all the systems uh, that means all the informations from the controller to plant and plant to controller is through by 
common network okay so what happens in that case if that uh, information is sending on the same uh, Uh, network so it there may be a delay okay so due to that delay what happens sometimes uh, plant will be connecting to controller and sometimes there may be disconnect so what happens nowadays uh, data packets which are sending on the network they are sending at proper time with the proper energy okay so that the systems could not be unstable so in the uh, if you can see in the uh, in this slide uh, there is a distributed network systems here uh, uh, here you can see this is the uh, virtual factory okay and there are the several uh, parallel units where the in which industry all the things are uh, growing and here is a controller part so what happens all the uh, okay i am coming to this point so where you can see Uh, at the common network all the information are sharing from uh, plants to controller so what happens which information is associated to which unit this is the uh, now our days more challenging okay so this uh, another example for this is nowadays for example if we are uh, here and uh, we have to control the appliances at our home so how can we can control we can control by our mobile okay by internet so what happens we will send some uh, information at the receiver end okay so at the receiver end if we are you are sending some information at the at your home for certain controlling of the appliances okay so if there is a too much delay or there is a data packet lost so what happens at that time that uh, control of that uh, particular instance or particular appliance will not do at a proper time okay so nowadays these are the major challenges in the case of the uh, iot based systems because everything is now it is uh, based on the net connectivity and the communication are done on particular or common networks so these are the uh, major challenges and sometimes it are uh, very much drawback of that systems if it is not stable that's why what uh, people are day people are doing nowadays they are sending their encrypted informations okay so once uh, uh, so it's a combination of the nowadays it's combination of electrical mechanical as well as the electronics then uh, instrumentation is also uh, mingling so what happens every one is dependent on the common network information okay and it is a very much uh, uh, controller problem that means uh, it has to segregate the different control actions for their uh, different appliances because it is common to all and uh, in the case of the uh, now robotics based system Term, if we are considering, so what happens every time if you will send the data packets, so it will take more energy. So what happens the cost function in that case it will be increased too much. So these are the uh, basic uh, challenges that uh, people are doing in this field work, and uh, they have also published uh, too many results uh, regarding that area. but the basis of that is uh, they, they are taking the uh, lyapunov kravetsky functions to stabilization of that system firstly they are just uh, finding the controller and that controller is based on the feedback controller that means uh, they are putting the uk equals to kxk so they will find the value of the k or the controller gain so that all the system will not stable will not Uh, unstable for a certain duration of the time delayed because there is a many chances of the delay uh uh this is also occurring in the case of the power systems just i am showing so here you can uh, see uh, there is a paper what happens uh, in their case uh, they have uh, just considering the effect of the delay 
in terms of the uh, flow of energy from one place to another place so and also they are trying to mitigate this effect that means the system must not be unstable in presence of the delays so these are the common areas in which uh, people are doing work nowadays and also in terms of the smart grid uh, if uh, all of you have uh, heard about this term so what happens they are also considering the effect of the delay so that uh, every uh, system every, every component that is connected to the smart grid must not be wasted the energy so these are the some areas where uh, people are doing very much uh, prominent work and considering uh, by considering the effect of uh, delay okay okay sir. And, yeah and uh, now i am showing you uh, one example uh, in which uh, uh, just we have uh, considering the effect of delay uh, and just yeah ah, here here you can see uh, just um, i am showing from the hmm. yeah uh, here you can see uh, we have considered a system 2.2 so what happens in that system in state space representation you can see uh, this is the uh, delay ad delay term this is the system matrix a and delta a and delta ad is considering as a uncertainty in the system okay and here wk this is called as a external disturbances for example if we are considering the aircraft system okay so what happens in that case in that case uh, you cannot predict the uh, disturbance for example if air speed is varying so what happens such type of uh, disturbance is called as an external disturbance but what happens that uh, disturbance must be bounded that means there is a uh, limitation of that uh, external disturbances if external disturbances are too much then what happens system may unstable so for this system uh, yeah, we have uh, we have considered a uh, state feedback uh, controller you can say you can see that here uk equals to kxk okay so after putting this uh, uk equals to kxk and uh, we have used uh, some saturation nonlinearity lemmas what happens in that case we have considering a reason in which saturation uh, system will linear okay so what happens after uh, completing this uh, closed loop system we have uh, considered the lyapunov kravatsky function okay so here you can see uh, this is the lyapunov kravatsky functional okay so the lyapunov kravatsky function v1 is x transpose pxk so what happened this is a quadratic function as it, it is the uh, presumable uh, initial that means prerequisite condition for the lyapunov functions and p is a positive definite matrix okay so other terms v2 v3 here you can see there is no information of delay but in terms of the v2 and v3 you can see we are considering the terms d1 d2 or dk or d2 with the different uh, functions different quadrating function so this these are the information about the delay which are considering along with lyapunov kravatsky functional okay so if we have applied this uh, lyapunov kravatsky function and we can find the controller gain k okay so that it will stabilize the system so this criteria has been applied to a missile control system okay so that example is given in a book of nice uh, control system okay and as nice control system engineering so here what happens we have uh, considering the plant uh, parametric uncertainty okay and a controller so what happens in that uh, air frame dynamics we have represented the overall uh, missile control system in terms of the state feedback uh, approach so what we have uh, done here the transfer uh, transfer function model of the missile control system has been given we have uh, converted into a state space model 
okay so in terms of the straight space model the model has been given by equation 2.36 c okay so and after that we have considered this system or taken the consideration of the delay time delay okay so that time delay has been represented by the matrix ad okay and also we have considered the parametric uncertainties parametric uncertainties means uh, the components which we are using in uh, our electronic circuits or electrical circuits like uh, resistor capacitor inductor they have certain aging effect so what happens their value will be decreasing from uh, by using uh, the uh, system too much so due to aging effect okay so what happens this parameter is changing that's why this parametric uncertainty has been considered here so in this case we have applied the seam lyapunov kolarovsky functional and we have found the value of the controller gain k okay this is the controller gain k okay so this controller gain k has been found for the time varying delay presenting in the system from 1 to 5 second okay so you can see the state trajectory or internal stability of the system here uh, the system has two states one state is 0.4 another state is 0.6 so what happens after applying that uh, controller k so you can see the system is going from its initial condition 0.4 and 0.6 to its origin or its equilibrium point so that means this system is internally or asymptotically stable because this definition has been already told you okay and uh, here you can see uh, the control effort uk because u equals to kxk so what happens initially uh, when uh, system has not any input then it will be zero after that uh, it will try to stabilize and when uh, system has reached to its uh, equilibrium position or origin then control effort is zero okay so these are the condition uh, in which control has been designed for missile control system which has been given in uh, nice book so here you can see that in presence of time delay what happens uh, mainly uh, the time delay deteriorate the performance in some cases but nowadays uh, some studies in time delay system they are advantageous Uh, for example uh, some papers uh, they have claimed in certain systems uh, for example rolling or cutting machine uh, if you are uh, cutting some uh, in particular pattern so what happens after some delay you will cut then you can make the design so such type of consideration in which uh, delay has been given so what happens in that sense delay is uh positive or uh, they, that will be helpful to making the system stable so now uh, i due to time con constraint i will stop my lecture so if anyone you have any doubt uh, then we can discuss because of the time constraint i cannot uh, discuss all the things Students, any of you have doubts? Please ask me. Third year, final year students. This is yeah. very useful for research also. Ah, uh, also, if you have not uh, no at this time, you are not able to ask any question, then you can mail me also. Okay. Uh, my mail is vipin at the rate ei dot nets dot ac dot in. I will write in chat box. So you can also chat me uh, after this lecture whenever you feel any problem regarding uh, time delay system. So you can ask me any time. You are most welcome. I have uh, write my mail ID in chat box. 
also any doubts uh okay naresh uh, you can come i think you can come to the session uh, since uh, not having any doubts okay uh, okay naresh come to the session okay thank you dr vipin chandrapal sir giving nice lecture so this is very useful for btech third year and final year students and uh, also research so thank you sir yeah thank you naresh sir and uh, hod sir for giving me an opportunity to deliver a lecture on this platform uh, i am very much thankful to both of you and also to all the participants who have given their valuable time to listen my lecture and if they have any any doubt or anything they can ask later also i have also shared already shared my mail id to them so with this i thanks to all thank you very much thank you sir thank you sir vipin sir once again uh, for accepting my re our request uh, yes. and giving your valuable time today even though it is a uh, uh, sunday uh, you have spent uh, your valuable time with us uh, so in future also uh, we are expecting the same relationship with you and uh, hoping some more uh, lectures from you then uh, if uh, time is uh, if possible uh, we may conduct the offline lecture also at that time also we may um, we require your uh, suggestions and uh, we require your time okay sir and uh, yeah, once again thank you sir thank you yes yes definitely sir. thank you sir it will be my privilege that you will uh, do the same thing thank you very yes, much sir. sir yeah thank you sir thank you thank you